What's up, Dragon Brood? Today, we're going to be talking about some Gruel Delirium. And I'm going to apologize for my voice up front because y'all really showed out at Vegas. I talked to so many of you, took so many pictures. I, like, lectured people on content. Like, all kinds of stuff happening. So, thank you. I just hope y'all can bear with me for the next few days because my voice is just going to be a mess. That being said, there was a really cool set of decks that got previewed at the Pro Tour that I kind of want to check out that... We haven't played really on channel or a different version of something that we played, so I think this will be really cool. So we're going to take a look at Gruel Delirium since we hadn't played one since the beginning of the season. And this one has some cards we didn't play last time, and I really want to talk about them. So let's start at the top with Violent Urge. Like, this is actually really good in that it gives a creature plus one, plus zero on first strike, which you are able to oftentimes have stuff that's three and four power, which is really cool. But if you have Delirium... Then this actually gets double strike, which is really cool. And it's an instant for only one red. Definitely something we didn't play in our previous list, and it could be very good here. There's some Cenote Scout, which is something that I kind of overlooked in my list, I'm pretty sure, the first time. And this is actually pretty cool because it does explore, which, you know, could help the deck out in some ways. So we'll see. It is just one mana. Hopefully it works. Still playing Patchwork Beastie. That makes a lot of sense. Playing Seed of Hope as a way to kind of fill up your graveyard, but does give you a little bit of life gain. If you're missing out, no way you're not playing this if you're playing the Delirium deck. It does have a couple of obliterating bolts. The cool part about this, it does exile something. It's sorcery speed, but it does deal four damage. One Canker Bloom, which I found a little bit curious in the main deck. By the way, these decks were all played best of three. We're going to be playing in best of one, so that might make a difference as well. And then Keen Eyed Curator, which I think is a really cool addition because I've been playing it in some other green based decks and it's been very good. And I hadn't even considered it here where you can pick out some of your own things and still be at Delirium and have a really big creature, which is super cool. Breakout, I've seen some people playing this in their versions. I did not play it in mine at the time, but I think this could be a really cool card. So I'm glad to see that this looks has it and we can give it a go. Then there's also Wildfire Wicker Folk, just a really good solid all around card. Again, if you're playing Gruel Delirium, you're gonna be playing this, no doubt. But this is the part that surprised me the most about this list is that it has four Ridden Realm Breaker. I don't know how I feel about this, but hey, a pro player did it, so I'm going to take a look at it, and we're going to see what happens. But by the end of the video, for best of one, we might want to make these changes. So be sure to check out the end, because there will likely be some things you want to update about this list. But when you do get to the end of the video, don't forget, after we do the update, I will have a link over to Moxfield, a channel sponsor, where you will be able to download this and check it out for yourself if you want to play it in Arena. But before we get to the games, I do want to tell you about a new sponsor that we have here on the channel. That's Tales of Adventure. So if you're going to buy some magic cards and you want to support your channel, go ahead and buy them over at Tales of Adventure. That is T-O-A-Magic.com. And if you use code DRAGON, D-R-A-G-N, you will save 5% on your order. I've met these folks at shows before a couple of times. It's very cool to get to work with them for our channel. So hey, if you want to keep helping me pay my bills and get to save some money on your magical cards, check out T-O-A-Magic.com and use code DRAGON. You'll save 5%. Now, let's get into those games. Okay, we get to go first with this. I'm not sure where this is going just yet. So I'm just going to do this, even though I often feel like we need to just be building Delirium. So this feels a little bit wrong going this path, but we'll see. Let's run a breakout here first. Oh, neither of these is great, but we do this, at least if it dies, we have an artifact and creature in the graveyard. So we'd be three points to Delirium already. Vladmare, okay. I think I'm going to go with this attack. I'm going to hit it with the uh, plus one, so we get the first strike. And this is mostly just trying to force the issue on the opponent here. Duress, you got it. Unfortunately, we already had an instant in the yard. So that doesn't help us a whole lot. But we're going to go here. Alright. Now we're at Delirium. All right, Tiny Bones. I will discard... Ooh, actually, Keenite Curator's kind of big business here, huh? 
I could get a creature from their side, instant from my side, or a creature and artifact. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the curator. Sure. Ah, that could have been a good card. You know what? Let's go here. And we missed. Gosh dang it. Uh, why? Why was that the thing? <laughs> Any creature there would have been good. Uh, we're so going to lose here, aren't we? Yep, and Deep Caravac gets one of our hasty boys. That sucks. I mean, they at least go to five here, so that's a thing, I guess. I mean, we can still get our double strike thing, I suppose. Like, there's options. Decline. We kind of need every card here. All right, we got lucky and drew another one. Which forces a block of something on their side. Yep. Makes sense. We do get some trample there. Well, we'll get a dude back. So they're just blocking across the board. Fantastic. No, oh, they kind of had to, though, because the trample, if they didn't, they'd have been left at one. Actually, no, they would have died, because they gained a point there as well. My opponent's not dead yet. Oh, actually, maybe they are, because this will trample for one. Oh, that's a kind of exciting. All right. They get to block, gain three, so they go to seven, take four or five, their choice. Actually, four or three, I should have said. All right, Gix, you up. All right, here we go. Let's see what we find. That is not the answer. All right, however, opponent is at two, so fear of missing out by itself is lethal. Even without its second attack step. Yeah, you do what you gotta do. Do we have any other hasty boys in tow? No, but these are not the worst things to have. Alright, Anakin Eyed Curator, sure. Yeah, if you're wondering why I got to draw without discarding, it's just... You discard and then draw, so either way you're gonna get a thing there. When I win, you're telling me what uh yeah, we just get rid of this guy, I suppose, right? Decline. Excellent. Still just attacking the opponent. Okay. We're hanging in there. And the turn. Just don't get a removal spell one time, opponent, here. Just give us a little bit of a window. That's all I'm asking for. Interesting. Oh, they couldn't play the full value because it's... Wait. Oh, it's seven. I thought it was six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. They're going to plus Liliana because neither of them have cards in hand, which makes sense. All right. Let's remove artifact creatures. So that's two types. Let's remove sorcery. That's three types. Oh, well, that helps too. Then on our turn, we will remove a Planeswalker. And then we will get rid of their biggest thing, because that's a bunch of life clean. Resolve. Take the action. We go to 14, and then we attack the opponent down to negative 2 or negative 1. Either way. Way to go, Keen-Eyed Curator. Pull in your weight. I know this is a bad keep. Has to be, right? But I'm going to keep it anyway, even with the tap land. Maybe we'll draw an untapped land and it won't just matter as much. Duress. You get probably a Planeswalker. That usually scares people the most. Though, realistically, Seed of Hope is probably the card I would go for if I were them. 
All right, we're just going to take our time here. I would have played a Cenote Scout first, but we're not going to really be able to do anything else on two anyway. So if they're only leaving up one black, I'm probably... Seeing as how this doesn't appear to be Reanimator, I'm going to lead with the Keen-Eyed Curator. Mostly because they can't kill that with a cut down. They have to use more mana this turn. And if we get another untapped play and we could do like Fear Missing Out, End of Cenote Scout, or maybe even Sea to Hope or something, but we'll see. Don't really know how this is going to progress. Actually, if we get a third land, I'll probably just play Ren and Realm Breaker if we're playing against a Demir. Actually, it looks like Esper Control type deck. This, however, did not work the way we wanted to. Oh, boy. Hmm. I think I'm going to gamble here. See if we find a land. Hopefully an untapped one, since we haven't drawn one. Uh, you know what? That'll work. That'll work. Not particularly what I was looking for, but it'll get the job done. I mean, at least as far as turn sequence, but like getting the land does allow us to get an attack in here, which we're totally okay with. And now even more options are open, but we did get to Delirium very quickly, which to be fair, the four win and Realm Breakers, even if I don't necessarily love the power of it so much, it actually does allow us one more card to hit Delirium with, or card type, I should say, which is actually really good. Um, mm, 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 mm. All right, I guess we're just going to attack before here. Or at least try to. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that somewhat clears the way for this guy. I, must I guess we mill three, put one into our hand. I'll take one of them there lands. The All right. Gonna demolition field us. Sure. Go get one of these great mini forests that tap for any color. All right. Do, 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 do. Up to one target land. I'm trying to think, like, what are we doing here? Probably. Go ahead and make this a thing. An attack. Kind of cool. We could end up just giving a land double strike, which is kind of hilarious. Hadn't really given that a lot of thought previously. Hmm. All right. I mean, I have a feeling like Sunfall's coming here anyway, so I'm going to take it easy. We might be losing a land. Yep, that's what I was wondering. Not a huge surprise, though. Opponent's not quite low enough that we can kill them with just lands yet. Stand with us. Uh, do we... And what are the odds they have another Sunfall? I guess it's possible. All right. I mean, I guess if they do, they do. I'm going to get rid of Obliterating Bolt. Well, all right. Worst case scenario, we get to attack with our lands now. But there probably is another Sweeper. Because we're obviously just playing a giant removal deck here and doing nothing else. Now, that's suspicious. And we're not doing anything. What's that about? So the opponent's not doing anything. All right, I guess we go ahead and play Kanker Bloom. Oh, you're just gonna know more lies on that? How much do I care about that? Like, hold on a second. Like, I mean. Yeah, I guess. You counter it. Whatever. <laughs> like, not worth fighting over, I suppose. Alright, we go to attacks. Please, buy us more time. Give this thing the untap ability. Alright. Alright. 
right, so they're paying for that. So wherever they block, we'll give first strike and well double strike too, really. I mean they might block the two three here. Nope. Alright. And then that should do it, right? Oh, we're gonna be just short. No, because this still stays untapped with the fear of missing out. Oh, I totally missed that. Well, accidental win. There you go. We'll take it. All right. I have to admit, because of the vigilance on the land in conjunction with fear of missing out, that always gives you an extra attacker. And that's actually pretty sweet. So, Ren and Realmbreaker makes even more sense now. And this is why we go through these steps. So, if things don't look immediately obvious, they make sense after you see them in action. You know what? I'm going to keep this. This looks good. We get to start with the scout, we go into a breakout, and then we'll just figure out what to do after that. We're going to take some damage along the way, but cost of doing business. Sure, we'll have that for later. Scout lives. Nope, scout dies. Fair enough. Break out. Who do we break out? All right. Well, fear of missing out. Guess that's a thing. Uh, are we discarding a breakout is the question. Because we're definitely not discarding the other stuff. So, sure. All right. That's fair. So now, even if we put this under play tap, we can still play a wicker folk attack. It's not like the craziest thing. Wow. No removal spells, huh? Okay, we're just getting in there then. And now they know we have a Ren and Realm Breaker. That does go to war with some of our cards pretty well. Hmm, what do we want to do here? What if, what if, what if, what if we do this? And then final fight. And we must win. See if we can get some trample damage. Search past the walls of this Oh, you know, Kenai Curator's pretty good for being able to get rid of this and the right scenarios. So I don't hate that. I I will take that actually. And we'll go ahead and attack. Alright, you get the block, take a point of trample. That goes to the yard. We can live with that. Big demon incoming, probably. Which means we're going to have real work to do next turn. Okay, not a big demon. If we get the one mana, like, double strike thing... Oh, well, doesn't matter now, because that dies. We're going to say that would have helped us end the game. Actually, it still would... Uh, didn't get it anyway, so doesn't matter all that much. Let's play this. So we'll get our attack for four. We'll go ahead and play or activate one of these. Oh, wait. If I'd activated this, it would still... Oh, hmm. Oh, well. That's a thing. Well, we'll just do this to buy ourselves some insurance. So if they do have a sweeper, we'll get rid of their thing at the end of the turn. And may or may not matter. We'll see. But I think we're okay. Do, do, do. Let's see. We could remove a creature enchantment. No. We have to be careful. All right. Blood letter. You got it. So what do we... I don't even know. I was like, even if they have a cut down, it doesn't matter here, right? Oh, but they go to five. That part does matter. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We just have too many bodies here. And then plus one. Look, our pollution for us. Then everybody attacks. My voice to all uh, I don't even think it matters what we untap. Sure. Yep, that's going to do it. 
Okay, we're gonna go first. You seem to be a big fan of drawing these Carplusian for us. Yeah, this is one of those hands. It's like you don't really, against an unknown opponent, want to have just damage lands for your double green spells, but we do get to gain a little bit of life, possibly get a land back. But if we get a choice, we'd obviously like to take a more threatening card if possible. But we're still going to lead with it and see what we can do. All right. First damage incoming. Guess we'll take a fear of missing out. And we can take a little less damage here. I'll be discarding a keen eyed curator. All right. We're at least in the process of doing some things. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to go here. And I'll just play the Restless Ridgeline tapped and give us a few options for next turn in case we want them. I mean, wow, no kill spell, even with all the white mana up. Okay. Maybe they're just waiting to see if we did something else? Oh, because it's that type of deck. That's why. Hmm. Will we be able to race them fast enough? Let's find out. The answer may well be no, but we're going to put them to the test. That is a very interesting card. So let's do this first, see if we can hit Delirium. Uh, currently at four. So we have Creature, Instance, Land. I'm going to decline. And then play this. And attack. Untap this. Attack again. Alright. Go ahead and... Hmm, this is tough. Because if I plus and they sunfall, we lose a land that we kind of want to have next turn. So I'm just going to mill. As I see about putting something into our hand, it's probably going to be a land, sadly, in this matchup. It was not a sunfall. Wow. Man. Uh, then what do we do here? Let's see. Rest of the Legend becomes 3-4 creature. Still am. Whenever Rest of the Legend attacks, another target creature gets plus 2, plus 0. So, what we can do is we can turn this into a creature. Give the Wicker Folk the bonus damage and then let it untap so it's a six one with trample for one hits the first one that's only seven but this would also hit so yeah let's do that i know it's a lot of words i just said i was thinking through a lot of things very quickly here so yeah let's attack with everybody um we're just gonna load up here all right sounds good and then we get the other attack in... No, we get to... Do, 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 do. Um... Yeah, get our second attack. That's just three, right? Yeah, nothing else going on. I was kind of wondering. Yeah, my brain skipped for a second because the creature we had untapped died. But I was like, oh yeah, I still have the other attack step. I was already thinking about what we're going to play next. But there, even if they would have had the Sunfall, I think we were still somewhat okay. We would have just... You know, attacked with the land, played a couple of bodies. Then they would have needed another removal spell. But, yeah. Alright, the deck's just kind of trucking. Okay, this feels like the worst hand we've had so far. But our lands feel better than we've had. So, maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. We're about to find out. I wish my Cenote Scouts were two twos more often. That would make me a lot happier. All right, what are we going to do here? I guess I'm just going to break out, see if we can find something good. Ugh, that wasn't great. And then we don't have Delirium yet for that. Ugh, man. 
Still, sadly, probably the best card. But it does hurt. Alright, they didn't block, which makes me feel like they want to copy the token or something later. Oh, it's a doll maker shop. That's why. And I can't block right now, so that makes a lot of sense. Can't say I blame them. Alright, so I could fear missing out to put... What are we missing? We got creature and sorcery. I could put a land in the graveyard and then use an instant so we'll be able to attack with this. I hate using it that way, but that might be the best course of action. Alright, well, we do what we gotta do, I guess. Man, that feels gross, though. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well, at least we're not wasting a thing here. We at least get to put this instant in the yard instead and get a little value, so that's okay. And then get to attack with our beastie. I will... Oh, wait a minute. There's a canker bloom. I'll take that instead. And now we'll attack. Alright. Lay down arm. Sure, why not? Alright, so opponent's digging. Probably looking for some land. From the feel of things here. Alright. We're going to have to get this canker bloom down. Whether I like it or not. I think we need to deal with that. Alright. And the turn. So when they go to the attack step. We'll try to destroy the doll shop. Oh, no. All right. Well, you got it. That's a sad time for us. Yep. Might as well get rid of this. Destroy an enchantment. Okay. Fear of missing out into a fear of missing out. I don't even know if I need Obliterating Bolt here. I'm kind of holding it for no reason, but I feel like we do. I don't know why I feel that way, honestly. Attacking. All right. I mean, somehow we're ahead on life here. I don't know that we deserve to be, but alright, those are real cards. Opponent opted not to attack here. So this is where this violent surge could be very, very good. Let's... I basically, I'm going to have to let the fear of missing out die. I'm pretty sure here. But just let them block how they're going to block. Oh, well, that's not nearly as bad. Or I could, well, you know what? It might be worth it to take out two one ones and just leave them with a single creature here. Sorry, opponent. Um, maybe that is what we do. Hmm. I guess a better play would have been pre-combat, just obliterating both that instead of play the creature. But, you know, hindsight. Uh, I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'll leave them with two 1-1s. One no, I'm just going to leave them with the 2-2. Two, two. Just leave them with fewer creatures. I think that's the way I want to go here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and juice this guy. Alright, end the turn. Oh, no, I get to attack again. I forgot. I still have the other attack step. Which we're still first strike, double strike, whatever. Opponents at four. Alright, that'll do it. Crazy, crazy stuff. 
Yeah, if you're wondering where all those attacks came from, like once your creature has double strike, you get a whole new attack step, so you still get first strike, regular strike damage again. So it did the first chunk of damage, picked off the two two ones, then hit the opponent for the difference. But then I got to untap, then I have the next attack step, so they blocked, we still have first strike, so killed the thing, trampled, and then did the rest. So yeah, there's there's some good stuff going on in this deck. I totally get why they put it together the way they did. Okay, we have Scouts, we've got Cedar Hopes. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Alright, Scout, what are you gonna do for us? Either give us an untapped land or get a counter. Hmm. Well, I guess we gotta hold that. This is one of the best cards in the deck, I'm beginning to think. Honestly. Oh, that's a Note Scout. So dead. Nope, oh, it's not. Okay, now this is going to be interesting because one of the things I was thinking about was if this deck possesses enough threats in lieu of having, like, removal and stuff. Can we hit harder than the opponents, of, basically? Are we just going to be two ships passing in the night, so to speak? And then it's just a matter of who has the bigger ship. Though, they tell you it's not about the size of your ship. So, you know, we'll see. So far, just white cards. Okay, so they're going to shelter by ghosts. Which works. Now, if we can get untapped land, we get to get rid of the shelter by ghosts and get our Cenote Scout back, which is super sweet. But they do get to gain some life here, which is a little bit tough for us. So it's going to be a four life swing in their favor here. Actually, six life swing in their favor. I forgot it gets a plus one. Which is relevant. Alright, since we didn't get what we want, I now have to decide what the best plan of attack. We can't play this Canker Bloom here because we can't waste that. we got to be able to get rid of Sheltered by Ghost. And we don't want to play it and have it get removed before we get anything. So, I guess the plan is just Wicker Folk. Which isn't sexy, but that's what we got. Actually, you know, if we would have had a land here, we're actually not in bad shape. But unfortunately, with no land here, a little bit of a pain. Okay, so the Uneaten Feast. Definitely didn't expect to see that. And it's, I usually don't see that in those builds. Kind of cool, though. Are we going to go another Sheltered by Ghost? Nope. Just going to get some hasty stuff in here. Yeah, their deck's going to make it very hard for us to win here. Like, they've got... Boom. Oh, we just didn't draw land. All right. GG's. We're not going to come back from this with no land. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough one because had we drawn land, we had a whole series of options available to us. But unfortunately, you don't draw it, can't play. Just the way it goes. Sure. Let's go for it. I wonder if, I, I don't know. I guess we're supposed to just break out first here. Oh, this isn't bad. Um, damn. All right, I'm going to go for it. Not really sure what the right answer is. I think we're supposed to be building to Delirium first, but this at least kind of lets us do that. I'm going to get rid of one of these. Yeah. Okay, we found some lands, which is good. So at least we have the intention of being able to play two things next turn. We'll just see what happens. Delirium's at three, so we still built up a little bit. Also, sweet He-Man reference in the opponent's username. Gotta respect culture. I was going to say, I'm about to be really stunned if I got to keep that for the whole turn side. I didn't think that was going to happen. Alright, go ahead and play this duder. Then we'll play this duder. And we'll attack. Sure. 
sure. You got it. Now Patchwork BC is a 3-3. Three, three. Is it also dead? Can I get a minus 3 here? No. So there's bats. Well, doesn't that change things? There are bats to be concerned about. Hmm. Okay, then. Actually, do we want to do that? I play the scout. I can pump the scout. Yeah, maybe we do this. Okay, don't hate that. So, let's spend one. I want to split my damage a little bit here over the next couple turns. Bad part is I can't use Seed of Hope now because I want to draw that other card. But I could still cast that and use the Violent Urge next turn, which is good. And we'll end the turn. Though I guess if I was going to do that, I could have just pumped Sonote Scout anyway the extra time. Since I know what I'm going to spend my mana on already. But we'll see. Ruin Lurker Bat. You got it. And another one? Nope, just attacking. Okay, fair enough. Uh, decline. Don't want to accidentally put that in the yard. And we're getting in there. With a bunch of three and four power things. All right, we'll hope they don't have a response here. They don't. All right, that should be game. Oh, not true, because they can still... Well, no, because they already declared blockers. That's not a thing. Never mind. Okay, we got mana. We got double beastie. We got obliterating bolt. All right, there's some good stuff going on here. Can we race that deck? Let's find out. Alright, I'll assume they're going to go get a mountain here. Oh, nope, went and got a swamp. But they do have a pile of 1-1s one that I cannot block currently. All right, only one thing in the yard. I guess we'll go ahead and play this. All right, we got to hope to hit Delirium next turn. Or else we're just going to be in a world of hurt. But we get to flip two cards and can force an Obliterating Bolt in the graveyard if we need to. Oh, but just be a Sorcery. Well, yeah, because all we have is an Instant right now. So if we need a Sorcery, we can do that. Otherwise, we'll just probably try to play Ren and Realm Breaker. But looks like they're sitting on either removal or counters here. So we'll see. There's a land. So that helps. And there's a creature. All very helpful. So if we play this first and it dies, an artifact goes to the graveyard. So that's fine if they counter it. If they don't, we don't have anything. Mm, I don't like that as much. Let's at least... Ah, but what if I need... Mm. Alright, I'm going to go for it. I kind of want to be able to attack with the beasties here. Yeah, they're checking the graveyard. They see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's really all this is about. Alright. Sure, you got a flood collar. Now they get to pump the team, untap some stuff, play two or three spells here, possibly. Nope, just a rat. Oh, because they're playing the. I have another build. I want to talk. I want to showcase this deck later, but uh, it plays the Song of Totentans. Which man? Now I wish I would have saved that obliterating bolt. All right, well, unless we get the double strike spell, I don't know if we have a real way to win here. 
do I care? Well, land going doesn't suck. Scout going doesn't suck. That, however, still doesn't find what we needed. Ah, uh, boy, what are we going to do? We could play Ren and Realm Breaker, make a 3-3. That would still be able to block. And then... Hmm. Yeah, that's something. Actually, let's tap like this. Let's go green. Green. Tap this. All right. The arena was doing right by us this time and leaving up a red green land, but this time, if I'm going to activate something, I want it to be just the forest instead of losing one of our better lands. And this still lets us gain two life, so maybe it's something. Stand with us. All right. If the opponent plays Song of Totentans, we would take. Cause this guy tramples. No, he doesn't trample. So we'd be able to chump block that. So we would take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'd be at one. That's gross, but whatever. We can still gain two. <laughs> like, don't know if this is a thing, but we'll see. Okay. I don't hate that. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this and take advantage of the opportunity. I will take this for sure. Now they're going to play some spell to bounce a thing or some such. Alright. They pick off two guys. Alright. Hey, that's a good play on their side. And they can still return a spell. Ah, Bryn. Bryn is when something dies, right? At the beginning of your instep, create an X-1-1 one, one black rat where this creature gets spells for each other. Rat you control wrecks the number of creatures that were exiled under your opponent's... Exiled under your opponent's control. All right. Noted. Um, We're going to go... I think I'm just going to try to put us in a position to... Get out of trouble here. Let's... Just plus this. No attacks. Uh, break free and fight. Now the bad part is they can return the flicker. Sp oh, I think the flicker, flicker's just their stuff. So it's not the worst thing. Oh, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does have convoke. Fair. So they will get a 1-1 one, one rat here. Sure. So many screams. I mean, why not? Okay. I mean, opponent's deck's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Definitely a different version of the deck than I've seen. I was not prepared for this, so good on them. But yeah, I think they got this. Oh, I say that. I say that not quite. Again, if we get the double strike spell, things change here. Oh no, because that'll be a five anyway. Yeah, even if we pumped and made this... Oh, I'd be a mana short regardless. Yeah, I think they got it. I was thinking there was something else we could do, but... I think we're kind of wrecked. I mean, that's a cool card. But I don't know if it really does anything here. I think we're just going to minus and see if we can just find something good. Well, good news, bad news... We didn't find a card where, like, I guess we do this. I mean, it's likely just going to die to the Kunvoke thing, but. Because that's what I would do. I would just kill off the Kunai Curator before I keep cards from your graveyard that you can't get back. And then we just died a lethal damage, right? 
Yeah. All right. Cool. GG's. Opponent's got this one. Okay. Let's keep it and see what we can do. All right. Let's see if we go Beastie here and maybe Beastie plus either Seed of Hope or Fear of Missing Out can get us to Delirium. There's always a possibility that they do not. And it looks like we're in a they do not scenario. Let's go hmm, here. We already have just a creature in the graveyard, though. Well, I don't think we I don't think we want that anyway, though. So that's fine. And so fortunately it just didn't help us hit the way we wanted to. But we do get to put an instant in there, so we could get lucky here and get a blocker. So they might play something to get rid of this no taste scout. Thinking the BC can't block. Oh, they're not going to. Okay. Uh, does that give us three is what it gives us. I'm just going to decline. Let's, let's... Oh, I forgot. The one we're going to put in there got us there. Oh, well. Kind of works out anyway, I guess. Don't need those extra lands. They're just a mess. Alright, I guess we attack. And if they want to do something, they're welcome to do something. Sure, you have an entity tracker. Sounds great. Boom, take that. Yep, thought you was doing something. Uh, with that said, though, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to discard this. All right. I mean, at some point, they're going to start deploying their enchantments. Speaking of, there's one of them now. Yep, makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm going to decline. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't find anything good. Uh, so if I feel they're going to instant speed a thing, what do we do here? I guess we just attack, let them do their thing, huh? All right, that could have been worse. Oh, I forgot. I needed to play the Keen-Eyed Curator first. I could have stopped them from getting the damn... Oh, that's such a dumb mistake. I knew that, too. I just wasn't even thinking. Oh, well. So we can get a creature, enchantment, land, instance, and still keep Delirium, I think. Question is, for how long? Probably not very long. Yeah, I think I threw this game away with that mistake, honestly. That's disappointing. Alright. Let's go to our own graveyard. Let's get this guy out of there. And then we'll take a land, since there's plenty of those. Not a lot we can do here, but gosh dang. Decline. I want to try to draw any actual spells. I guess we just attack. Alright. Let's get rid of an instance. No, just play this guy for sport. Because I don't know what else is going to happen here with it. I'm going to keep that because maybe we can at least draw into something. Alright, another glimmer. So everything costs two less. You know, in a way, I also kind of want like a fight spell or something in the stack. Like, I don't know. Uh, we'll decline, because we're going to get the next card anyway. Okay. Hopefully it's something good. I could have played the land and just got this for free, but that's okay. Don't know if this is enough, but we're going to go for it. I mean, if they have something, they have something. 
I'm trying to get bailed out on my own dumb play. I say that, though, if there is a reality that if I played Canine Curator, they may not have even blocked, you know? So who knows? All right, well, here comes something. I guess we're going to lose, huh? Nope, they didn't have anything. Weird. Don't feel like I really deserve that when I did not play that very well, but, you know, sometimes you just have an individual card that's just good enough to get past what the opponent's doing. Okay, so there's a lot of good things going on with this version. My concern, though, is there are times, like, Breakout isn't always great, and you already have a ton of things to do on turn two anyway. But, now, admittedly, it does give something haste, but... I would almost like to have one less Breakout and one less Ren and Realm Breaker in exchange for two other things that, like, pump creatures or two more creatures. Just like two hard threats, so like you can't miss. It's still something worth playing on turn two or whatever. You know, not sure what the best answer is there. I think it's possible we could even go with something like, let's say, Balustrade Worm, if I can spell it correctly. <laughs> let's go with Worm. All right. Um, I think this actually, granted, it does cost five, so it's not like we're going to have the mana a ton of time. But if there were just two in the deck, I don't think that's the worst thing. It's a haste creature, it tramples, you can play it out of the graveyard. I really kind of like that in this deck, and it was really good in our previous version that we played. I also think either Inti is a reasonable option. It's another way to pump your creatures, give something trampled to them to turn, right? That's really good, especially since we're also playing Violent Urge. So, it's another threat you can play. Or, now, you can't find this with the Breakout, but the Flytrap... I think is also reasonable if you're just going to play a couple of copies of it. This is another way that just like, all right, you get to put counters on things. You get to double number of counters on stuff, but maybe this is better if you're going to play a version that also has an anti. So there's that, but there are other cards that are just simple things like giant growth. If we want to play that as well, right? Just no way to pump our stuff. If you already have something that's getting a second attack step, you're basically getting six more damage out of one card or Maybe even trample damage just to finish somebody, right? Or if you want to thwart your opponent from playing something like a cut down, right? This is a quick way to pump something or whatever. So giant growth does make sense here as well if you wanted to play one less keen-eyed curator. I mean, not curator. One less breakout. One less Ren and Realm Breaker. And two giant growths probably help you win more combats. Especially if you're talking about playing against a deck that's already going to be an issue like mono black with the demons and different things. They have like four and six toughness. A giant growth goes a long way towards you being able to punch through and maybe even get the occasional bit of trample damage. So that's something I would consider. I, I, mm, man, because we do have instants already, but we only have a couple. We have instants there and we have Seed of Hope. But we do have Cenote Scout, which is a creature. We have Patchwork BC, which is an artifact and a creature. We also have Enchantments and Creatures with Fear of Missing Out. So we do have cards that count for multiple things. We still have Breakout for three sorceries in the deck if we need it. Still have Ridden Realm Breaker for three uh, Planeswalkers. And then, of course, we can still flip lands. So I don't think we're hurting the deck that much by making that change. We do go down a creature, so we're at 22. But might still be worth it. I think it's worth considering. Now, if you want to play it the original way, that's fine. Or I would also say if you're worried about a lot of artifacts and enchantments... Go ahead and play a couple of main deck Canker Blooms instead of playing the Giant Gross. You'll also be adding a couple of creatures for some more threats. And occasionally a Canker Bloom can also, you know, it, it can add a counter if you need to do something with Ren and Realm Breaker, right, to proliferate. That's a thing. So just something to consider. There are some options there if you want to go that route. I think Giant Gross is actually a pretty sweet card for this build, but may not be the end-all be-all answer either. The only other thing I would say about this is that occasionally the lands can be a little bit clunky because you don't always need an early red mana from the Thornspire Verge. You do need green mana more often than not. So that's a little tough every once in a while, especially when you have like a Ridgeline being your first tap land or whatever, and it can like offset your mana a little bit. So just something to think of when you're doing your mulligans. But yeah, it's tough. I'm a little torn. I'm still here thinking about do I want more Canker Bloom or do I want the Giant Gross? So... Mm, I think the list I'm going to post is going to have the giant growth, but if you want to play the Canker Blooms or the Random Realm Breakers, I'm not going to hold you. I think that makes a lot of sense.
So the final list we're going to put up is going to be four Violent Urge, four Cenote Scout, two Giant Growth, four Patchwork BC, four Seed of Hope, four Fear of Missing Out, two Obliterate, one Canker Bloom, four Canide Curator, three Breakout, four Wildfire Wicker Folk, three Ram Round Breaker, six Force, four Carplusion Gorge, four Carplusion Force, Copper Line Gorge, four Carplusion Force. I realized what I just said there. Four Restless Bridge Line and three Thorn Spire Verge. And don't forget, if you want to save money buying magic cards, use TOA Magic and use the code dragon you'll save five percent but yeah this is really cool i think this is awesome if you want to see something different we did play an azorius version of the simulacrum deck so you may want to check that out as well but yeah have some fun out there that's all i got for you for now we'll see you next time